after the surgery the rehab i was crippled for four months i was bedridden the literal meaning of shaolin temple if you turn it into chinese meaning a uh, temple in the little forest i actually didn't know what spirituality meant like i'm being very honest pavan sir was just like so blown away that are shaolin warrior india so shaolin warrior so for me it was like are yaar ye aise mujhe kyu treat kar rahe hai main to yaar bachcha hu inke samne lifestyle entertainment and everything in between this is the pinkwilla podcast Hi Jai, welcome to Pink Villa. Hi Avinash, thank you so much for having me. So for my viewers, I would like to say that Hush is the first Indian to be adopted as a warrior monk by Shaolin Temple in China. Let's begin from there. शुरू से शुरुआत करते हैं क्योंकि शायद ये concept हमारे लिए इलिन हो सकता है. But सबसे पहले ये बताइए आप एक warrior monk हैं. अब जब वॉरियर मंग कहते हैं ये दोनों नाम जो है काफी ऑपोजिट है काफी डाइकोटमिक है वॉरियर जब हम हिंदुस्तानी कॉन्टेक्स में सोचते हैं तो वॉरियर एक क्षत्रिय है और मॉन्क एक ब्राह्मण है तो ये वॉरियर मंग क्या होता है ये बताइए वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन सो ऑनस्टली लाइक जब मैं शाउलन टेम्पल पहली बार गया था तो मुझे मॉन्क्स जस्ट जनरल टर्म मालूम था आई डेंट नो देर टू टाइप्स ऑफ मॉन्क्स वन इज अर मंक एंड वन इज अलर मंक um to answer your question i think warrior monk what my study has been mera jo wahan par journey raha hai it's more of uh, cultivating the internal um, basically silencing the internal sound of your body so i think that's what the monk part is and the physical part is the warrior side that is there so i think the merger of those two is what a warrior monk is defined by yeah but when you say shaolin temple and shaolin culture what is it What do you? What is exactly Shaolin culture for Indians or for generally people around the world if they don't know what is it? So a uh, little bit of brief history of Shaolin Temple is um, it actually comes from India. Not many people know about this. Uh, was started by uh, this Indian monk from south of India called Bodhi Dharma. So he traveled from south of India to China uh, to spread the teachings of Zen Buddhism on, on the say of his master Mahakasapa. And um, he was actually not welcomed in the temple, so he went and meditated for nine years behind the temple. Uh, in fact, Bodhi Dharma ke pehle hi uh, ek already Indian monk tha, wo temple mein the, jinka naam tha Buddha Bhadra. Hmm. Unko bulaya tha kyunki tabhi hamari language thi Pali language. So a Chinese king had come down to India in search of a scholar, Indian scholar, to translate Buddhist scriptures. And then he took him to the temple, and he built him a temple in middle of the forest. So the literal meaning of Shaolin Temple, if you turn it into Chinese meaning, a uh, temple in the little forest. Shao means little, and Lin is uh, you know forest, and then Sir is temple. So Shaolin Sir, so Shaolin Temple. Wow. And Shaolin culture. So Bod- Bodhi Dharma started this culture, like I said, and uh, the three pillars of Shaolin uh, culture are Zen Buddhism, Kung Fu martial arts, and traditional Chinese medicine. Medicine. So these three uh, are the culture, the core pillars of the temple. And जैसे हमारे बोधि धर्मा इंडिया में थे तो उन्होंने आयुर्वेद प्रैक्टिस की है उन्होंने योग प्रैक्टिस की है उन्होंने कलेरी पयत्व एक एंशियन इंडियन मार्शल आर्ट है जो प्रैक्टिस की है तो ये तीनों का मर्जर जो बुद्धिज्म पढ़ाई की है ये चारों चीज़ों का मर्जर होके ही ये पढ़ाई उन्होंने वहाँ पर स्प्रेड की और मॉक्स जो ऑलरेडी थे उनको सिखाया एंड दैट्स हाउ द एक्सिस्टेंस ऑफ द शाउल कल्चर स्टार्ट फ्रॉम देर एंड देन आई थिंक the chinese people who living there they made it even bigger they pray to bodhi dharma they pray to buddha so that's what shaolin culture is and how did you land there i know there was a injury that happened uh, correct while you were running i think actually yeah i'll just uh, share it in brief so i um, i used to be a professional football player i'm from bombay from juhu from jamna bai narsi school uh, i used to be playing professional football and uh, football has always been my whole and soul and um not been very good with academics but uh, always up in the game with co curricular activities football ho gaya drama dance singing uh, athletics always always been on top of my game and um, i started taking football very seriously so after my 10th standard i went to italy to play football with the ac milan junior team it was under 15 16 ka jo tha and um after that i went to leicester to play with the under 16 team and mom said that i have to complete my 12 board exams deni hai jo hoti hai and then the whole idea of like you know being a professional footballer dropped then i had to do my graduation and um, i think there was a big void in my life that football just went away because mai bachpan se hi football khel raha tha hmm. and um, I, i i got back to playing after graduation i went to canada to study and came back and then um, i thought i'll get back to it but then uh, i got to know that mere knee mein already ek deformity hai jiski wajah se meri kafi movements restrict ho rahi hai hmm. 
तो उस वजह से डॉक्टर ने बोला मुझे सर्जरी करना पड़ेगा बॉम्बे में ही कहीं आरोग्य निधि हॉस्पिटल में एंड ड्यू टू एक्स्ट्रा कैल्शियम इन माई बॉडी दैट बोन ग्रू इट बिकेम अ बिग थिंग इन माई नी सो वेन वाइल ऑपरेटिंग द सर्जन ही फाउंड दिस ट्यूमर अटैच टू इट and a small surgery became a very big surgery and uh, after the surgery the rehab i was crippled for 4 months i was bedridden and um, i was just so depressed because i've been such an active child since childhood being like into athletics and playing football and just been a very hyper kid running here yahan se wahan pe and uh, suddenly bed pe baithna you know like just being restricted is just like yeah uh, what the hell has happened to me you know and then um, yeah i i i just did some research about uh, different alternate medicine therapies like four five months ke baad and uh, mere mere ek yoga guru the jo ghar par aate the mujhe breathing activities karate the breathing exercises so he used to give me a lot of like you know courage and like bolte na ek hausla badhana ek hope dena ki nahi tum acche ho you are wow just speak you know good things for yourself for your body good affirmations jo bolte hum so he used to give me a lot of courage and then i had this other martial arts friend of mine he told me about uh, you know look at chinese medicine so i started doing research mera r&d then uh, that's how i came across shaolin i reached out to them and uh, waited for two weeks three weeks and then the third week then they replied back so that yeah we can help you we can treat you mm. so that's where the uh, light at the end of the tunnel came to me yeah but an intense injury like that what does it do for an athlete's confidence I think more than it being a physical setback, it's a mental setback. Yeah. Uh, being very highly active, uh, professionally playing football and being on top of my game because I think that whole teenage time is so prime for everyone who are professionally playing. Uh, I feel that uh, it really takes like a sub. It puts you in a zone where you start questioning your ability yeah. uh, as to how your comeback could be. I don't know. Think we, we are not that groomed at the age of sixteen, fifteen. Uh, where or 17 18 that you know we will have um, ability to overcome our mental strength you know we are learning this to the course of life like even i learned it like recently when i was in the temple so i think it gives you a mental setback and it it, it really bothers you on the mental level more than physical level but um, honestly like you know i always say this um, you are your only hope nobody else can help you except yourself coming back to the journey i went there without knowing what the shaolin culture is i just knew that they have medicine i need to fix my knee and that's about it main to 6 months ka visa lekar gaya tha and i landed up staying for 5 years wow so that was quite something for me and i when i realized that ye jagah ne mujhe heal kiya hai aur ye jagah ke paas kafi kuch hai mujhe offer karne ke liye that's when i realized that are ki if i want to survive i need to learn the language hmm. because wahan par koi bhi english baat nahi karta correct to i was like yaar to study the language i downloaded some podcasts i bought some books online and then i used to literally be in people's you know head and face that you know taking the phone in my hand like please speak so translate okay mere paas samajh mein aaye so i really learned just a language through listening you know mental health is also something that i speak very often because mujhe genuinely lagta hai ki aaj aaj ke time pe sabse badi bimari wahi hai aur agar usko overcome kiya diya jata hai to i'll give you an example in 2021 i was going through a rough phase in in my life and uh, i remember i took off uh, to rishikesh oh, and uh, i was there for some i did a solo trip and i learned many i i did the, that sound meditation sound healing uh, yeah. sound healing yeah. and uh, i i learned some uh, basic yoga exercises from there and when i use it in my day to day life now mujhe realize hota hai ki ha yaar impact hai aapka dimag clean ho jata hai and uh, did that happen with you also when you're in shaolin temple kyunki pehli baar jab hum jaate hai aise koi jagah pe to ek ek dimag mein image hota hai when you went there how did that image break for you that this is actually beneficial and this is not just one healing that they promoted somewhere actually the first day i went there it was <laughs> it was another drama that happened i think mere life mein kitni sari baatein aate ja rahi thi aate ja rahi thi ki jab tak main actually wahan par kuch meri journey chalu na karu तब तक मतलब इट वॉज लाइक यू नो दे वॉज नो स्टॉपिंग सो वेन आई रीच देर सो आई मैलर्जिक टू मशरूम्स तो एक तो लैंग्वेज नहीं आती और फिर रात को हम मैं देरी से पहुँचा घर पर जो डॉमेट्री थी हमारी एंड दे गेम यू सूप एंड वेजिटेरियन प्योर वेजिटेरियन प्लेस शाउल टेम्पल ऑफकोर्स बुद्धिस टेम्पल एंड देन आई ड्रैंक द सूप एंड मालूम पड़ा कि यू नो दिस मशरूम एंड आई गॉट दिस मेजर रिएक्शन एंड देन नेक्स्ट डे मॉर्निंग आई हैव टू गेट एलर्जी शॉर्ट्स एंड ऑल ऑफ दैट सो and then in the morning when i finished all of that anti allergy shots i went and to the temple to do my registration the formalities uh, of you know uh, doing my admission and my treatment with my x-ray reports my surgery reports everything i saw the space it was uh, it was the most serene and the most beautiful space literally heaven on earth 
and uh, red structures grey walls green you know um, like roofs and it was people like you know monks young monks older monks they all are training there is sab log ki bolte hain literally military wali jo se hoti hai na training waisi chal rahi thi wahan par training so i honestly when i got there and i saw this thing i was like this is the place which is actually going to really like you know heal me at least so hmm. i never thought or planned that mujhe long term rehna hai ji so for me it was more of like um, to surrender it takes so much time to surrender to something you know hmm. and when you really surrender to something that's when that place or that person or whoever it is accepts you completely yeah and that's the time your journey literally begins i feel yeah do you miss going back often I do I haven't actually uh, been in the last 3 years wow. sorry 9 2019 was the last time and since since pandemic I haven't been there planning um, to go back I do have plans to go back I have to make uh, trips to the temple to give respect to my master to show respect I have to visit every year but hmm. then you have to give your attendance hmm. because uh, the first Indian Shaolin warrior so yes I have to do my due duty as to what they have given me the platform and made me you know what what I am yeah पर हर्ष अपने इंडिया में भी जैसे कितना कुछ है जैसे यू नो देर इज मत थेरेपी देर इज वेकी देर इज मसाज थेरेपीज देर इज आयुर्वेदा एंड लाइक यू सेड इवन शाउलिन हैज इट्स रूट्स इन आयुर्वेदा इन डिड यू ट्राई एंड फाइंड समथिंग इन इंडिया डिड यू फील दैट देर इज नॉट इनफ दैट्स अवेलेबल हियर विच इज वाई यू फेल शाउलिन टेम्पल कैन कम एट योर रेस्क्यू दैट आई एक्चुअली डिड वेन आई सारे डूइंग ऑल्टरनेट मेडिसिन थेरेपी माई फर्स्ट search was ayurvedic medicine i did some research down in kerala uh, there were places that they were saying they could fix me um, there were places in thailand because that ki business parts are thode thode thailand mein the to un log bol rahe the ki you know you can come here and get fixed uh, i only had certain funds with me so you know i was trying to see where i can do the best and go for the best you were not borrowing from your parents uh, my treatment no actually <laughs> Wow. Yeah, like my therapy and everything. I was planning to do everything by myself because you know I've been living abroad since both ten standard. You know, been in Italy, London, Canada, and then uh, just. बोलते हैं ना कि एक आदत हो जाती है खुद की मतलब सेविंग्स करने की कमाने की just like working in restaurants and doing like you know small stuff. So yeah. Um, was just doing. In fact, I was saving money to go to Tomorrowland. <laughs> wow! <laughs> <laughs> but then the surgery happened, and then life just changed, and then monkhood happened to me. Yeah. Um, but I did try to find out about alternate medicine therapy in India. I was not getting uh, that confidence. One. Uh, second, I feel that if you want to really uh, do something, if you really want to. Um, Make an impact or feel an impact. You have to get out of your comfort zone. Hmm. आप आपकी comfort zone में because भले ही वो आपका घर हो, आपका शहर हो, आपका state हो, आपका देश ही पूरा comfort zone है. और हमारे यहाँ पर like we Indians definitely it's a privilege to you know have people with us working for us in our houses, in our offices. Correct. Um, but I think the major challenge comes when you have to do things by yourself. Yeah. Um, so that's what I mean by breaking out of your comfort zone. So I really wanted to do something. I'm very grateful to my parents that they sent me abroad for so much time to learn all all these things. Otherwise, I would have just been like you know one of those <laughs> brat pampered boys, which you know uh, wouldn't go down well with me in itself. Because after learning that life and living that life, um, I understood that yeah, you have to get out of India. यहाँ पर नहीं होने वाला. Because वो physiotherapy भी घर पे आ रहे थे. करने के लिए यार कुछ हो ही नहीं रहा था ना जस्ट लाइक आई वांट टू वॉक यार लाइक यू नो लेट प्लीज लेट मी वॉक आई वांट टू वॉक नॉर्मली बिकॉज वो जब ट्यूमर निकाला ना तो एक हॉलोनेस क्रिएट हो गया था बिकॉज दे हैव टू कट अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ माय कॉर्ड मसल सो एक हॉलोनेस क्रिएट होकर फिर देवर लाइक यू हैव टू ईट लॉट ऑफ मी टू क्रिएट मोर मास इन योर बॉडी प्रोटीन खाओ कार्ब्स खाओ एंड आई लाइक यार खा लूंगा लेकिन यार चलना तो सिखाओ मुझे लिटरली लाइक दैट करेक्ट सो आई डोंट नो आई थिंक इट वॉज जस्ट माई कॉलिंग एंड यू नो दैट मार्शल आर्ट ब्रदर ऑल्सो टोल मी दैट you know shaolin temple is the space because i think i needed a place which was very serene which was very uh, holistic spiritual and just a place where bolte na ki log har ek jan ek hi vibration par ek hi frequency par vibrate kar rahe so i really wanted to go to a place like that can we some do something like that in india now do you think it's possible to have like a, a space i know you are promoting the culture in india as well but do you also promote the medicine side of it do you also बिकॉज आई रियली बिलीव अगर किसी के साथ ऐसा हो तो क्या करेगा एंड आई कैन कम्प्लीटली एम्पिटाइज विथ यू वैन एन एथलीट स्पेशली इज बेड विद इन वॉट यू कैन गो थ्रू आई कैन आई कैन रिलेट टू यू एट दैट टाइम इज दर समथिंग दैट कैन बी डन इन इंडिया आई थिंक इट कैन बी डन इन इंडिया इट्स ऑल अबाउट प्रोवाइडिंग द फेसिलिटी प्रोवाइडिंग दैट इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर एंड and people who are even providing this facility and services they should be coming with a good intent you know like that's what matters and I think spirituality a place with spiritual connection to it or an attachment to it 
uh, it's more of like you know how your intent is created and to what you're providing mm-hmm. otherwise hum log you know we just become very greedy like you know paisa kamana hai ki mm-hmm. thoda donation lena hai ye karna hai wo karna hai you know so i think we lose the essence of what authenticity we can provide and india is so rich in that india is the oldest cultural heritage system of the world correct of this globe so we have so much to provide our aap abhi bhi dekhenge bahut kam log hain yahan par jo yog practice karte very authentic ones yeah. abroad mein dekhiye log matlab they just like so drowned in yoga i'm like wow this is like amazing hamare desh mein maine kabhi aise dekha nahi ki log itna kar rahe kar rahe log hmm. but wo capacity mein wo itne matlab bolte na mass volume mein nahi kar rahe hmm kare ki pa bol बट क्या ये एक्सपीरियंस ने आपको स्पिरिचुअल बनाया या पहले से स्पिरिचुअल थे एक्चुअली आई एक्चुअली डिट नो वट स्पिरिचुअलिटी मैं लाइक आई बिंग वेरी ऑनर्स आई डिट नो वट स्पिरिचुअलिज्म इज घर पर रिलीजन पर ज्यादा यू नो प्रैक्टिस किया गया है डैड इज वेरी बिग शिफ भक्त एंड गणपति बप्पा माता जी साई बाबा यू नो जो भी हम जो भी करेक्ट हिंदू भगवान है सनाती धर्म के जो भी है कृष्ण भगवान एवरी वन सो आई फील दैट I was so more in very reciting. वो तो लेकिन हम रट्टा मार रहे हैं। Like वो जो मंत्र चल रहे हैं, ठीक है। लेकिन उसका essence और meaning नहीं पता। वो हमारे मानसिक व्यवहार पर क्या impact करते हैं, वो ही नहीं मालूम है। So I think spirituality created a doorway for me to getting to know myself and understanding how these things can affect me. Yeah. I don't need to see outside world. I need to see inside world first. And spirituality is a doorway to yourself first. Hmm. So I think Shaolin taught me that. Yeah. Given that. This is also why we are, you know, we are doing this podcast also, Ash, because I really believe these conversations can help people who are really going through this, and it can really impact them. इसलिए मेरे पास दो academic question हैं. Sure. पहला ये कि आपका दिन चलिया वहाँ कैसा था? How did you start and how did you end? So uh, before I became a warrior monk, वो भी एक अलग ही journey, वो भी अलग कहानी. I'll come to that. Um, my treatment went on पहले three four months, and then once my three four months my leg became fine. then i started practicing uh, the physical training you know strength training there was some jadi bootiya bolte hain hamari bhasha mein so they were giving me certain uh, herbal medicines for you know getting my leg fine uh, once that became better then i told my parents my parents and my came to visit me in the fifth month so they were very happy uh, seeing me what i'm doing and my mom was very like upset that why are you putting yourself into such a remote situation of life and i was like mom this is something which i'm like you know mujhe acha lag raha hai yahan par you know mujhe rehne do kyun mujhe aap you know question kar rahe ho aap dekh nahi rahe ho aapka beta khush hai you know so i told mom that was like just chill you know like i'll be fine and then 6 months ka visa khatam hua wapas bombay aaya to visa renew karne ke to main dad ko bola ki dad you know i need a little bit of help from you financially i really want to do this like i really want to practice this. so dad was probably thinking this is just you know another phase of mine where you know like how i was so attached to football and now i found this new attachment and you know Uh, how will you able to channel it because football ke through bolte na career because even dad was pushing me to you know pursue football as a career Uh, because I was, you know, playing at a really good level. You know, there was a lot of uh, achievements that were coming through my way. Yeah. And um, he was like, "Okay, I'll help you, but not more than one year." Mm. I said, "Okay, fine, no problem. Help me fifty percent. That's what I need." Yeah. And he's like, "Okay, I'll give you a timeline." You know, but obviously, every parents give you a timeline, which is fair. One year, after six months, after one year, extend. Okay, I train, I train, I train, and I told them that my savings over. Now I'll go back. Yeah. And I trained really hard. I used to train more than the monks used to train because. I felt so good with my leg. I felt so good with my practice. It was not the physical training that I was doing. I was doing also Zen Buddhism classes. I was learning my language at the same time. I was able to go and at least just sit and attend the medicine classes as well, mm-hmm. even though I didn't know the terms that mm-hmm. time. But I used to just observe because they used to put some pressure points. The meridians were there, na body ke. So they used to show those points on the body that this is for this, this is for this. Because they used to be able to use certain anecdote, anecdotal terms, yeah, you know, like heart, uh, kidney. तो ऐसे से पॉइंट्स होते तो बता सकते थे एंड माय वन एंड हाफ ईयर गॉट ओवर सेविंग्स गॉट ओवर आई टोल्ड देम दैट आई एम गोइंग एंड देन बिफोर गेट टू दैट हाउ मेनी आवर्स डिड यू स्पेंड डूइंग दिस आई यूज्ड टू ट्रेन अबाउट इन समर वी यूज्ड टू ट्रेन 10 टू 12 आवर्स अ डे स्टडी 10 टू 12 आवर्स अ डे वी यूज्ड टू वेक अप एट 4 ओक्लॉक वी यूज्ड टू स्लीप बाय 9:30 वाओ एंड दिस इंक्लूड्स मार्शल आर्ट्स एंड क्लासेस एंड एवरीथिंग एवरीथिंग सो एज अ फॉरेनर स्टूडेंट बिफोर आई बिकेम अ मंक बिकॉज़ वी ऑल वर फॉरेन स्टूडेंट्स वी आर फ्रॉम फॉरेन कंट्रीज this was the routine and um, even after i became a monk it was the same timing but uh, the training was intensity was very hard mm. because you know you're a warrior monk so when i told them i'm coming back to that story when i told them that my savings over i'm going i'll come back you know mm. when i or save karke aa jaunga i'll come back so they had an internal meeting the abbot of the temple you know uh, the venerable shri yongshin he's the head of the temple is hamare dean hote ji waise 
तो ही एड अ मीटिंग विथ आर वॉरियर मॉन्क लीडर and it was like okay he's a good asset because ek saal mein maine language bhi seekh liya i'm started to attend buddhism classes i'm starting to attend medicine classes i'm doing kung fu decently so they were like let's adopt him and so they were like understanding what were the process for it um, the only thing was they had to just tell me that you don't have to pay anything to us and uh, whatever services we tell you to do whatever vows and oaths we tell you to take aapko wo karne padenge Okay, and I happily accept that when they told me I was on cloud nine, I was like, "This is the best feeling, you know, like being adopted as a warrior monk." But when I broke the news to my parents, they were like so startled. Shattered. Yeah, they were so shattered. <laughs> they were like, "Pagal ho gaya hai, bahi saal ka hai, monk banega, dimag khad gaya, sadhu banega." Huh? I have an elder sister. She's ah. married. Yeah. Ah. Oh God. Yeah. So she, my parents were like, <laughs> like. लाइक बच्चा नहीं होएगा तेरे को शादी नहीं करेगा यू नो लाइक दे वेंट इन अ डिफरेंट ट्रिप एंड देन आई वाज लाइक लिसन दिस इज द ओनली ऑपर्चुनिटी दैट आई हैव एंड आई रियली वांट टू टेक इट एंड यू नो डैड बीइंग फ्रॉम द एक्शन फैमिली एंड यू नो बीइंग वेरी लाइक स्ट्रिक्ट एंड हार्ड सो आई हैड टू रियली लाइक यू नो बैटल माय वे आउट एंड आई वाज लाइक नहीं मैं जा रहा हूं घर छोड़ के मेरे को ये ऑपर्चुनिटी लेनी है लाइक आपने मुझे हेल्प कर लिया हो गया अभी मेरा टाइम हो गया कि यू नो खुद की लाइफ जीने का एंड देन आई जस्ट लाइक जम Don't think twice. Just do it because that's what's going to get you ahead. Tough decision, da? Huh? Yeah, it was really difficult because, like, I'm just renouncing my family and going. It's not a small thing. Correct. So, and I decided that you know I don't want any kind of pressure or any kind of baggage, or, you know, with the whole parental pressure. जो बोलते जो सब को मिलता है वो एज पे यू नो इन द एज ऑफ आफ्टर ग्रेजुएटिंग है सब को मिलता है and um, I wanted to do it for myself, not no for not to prove anything to anyone. ना किसी के प्रेशर में ना मुझे किसी को कुछ यू नो सेटिस्फेक्शन देना लाइफ में मुझे अपने लिए करना मेरी प्रैक्टिस के लिए करना और मैं उसमें खुश था व्हेन डिड दे एक्सेप्ट इट वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन एक मतलब मोड आना ही था कि उन लोगों को एक्सेप्ट करना okay. पड़ेगा सो देयर वाज अ टाइम वेयर आई स्टार्टेड ट्रैवलिंग अराउंड द वर्ल्ड फॉर कुंगफू शोस टू प्रमोट शाओलिन कल्चर सो दैट वाज वन ऑफ द बिगेस्ट ड्यूटीज आई गॉट विद द वॉरियर मॉन्क टीम वी वर 20 20 30 वॉरियर मॉन्क्स वी यूज्ड टू गो टू यूरोप वी यूज्ड टू गो टू Asian countries we used to go like in North America, so I traveled quite a bit with the team, uh, being the only non-Chinese on the team. So it used to be a privilege for me to be announced and introduced as the first Indian Shaolin warrior. He's a, he's the Indian warrior. He's an Indian Shaolin warrior. So these all things, you know, like give me like confidence of that. You know, I'm representing my country in a way. Yeah. And uh, then some of the government officials got to know about it. So a lot of news people came to the temple and Parvasi for interviews. You know, all of those things happen in the Asian media. Yeah. and uh, there was a short documentary in fact got shot as well on me and it was released in the UK and in Spain so i think then they started seeing those achievements <laughs> that's when they accepted but it's so interesting yeah as you know a boy from jamuna bai pursuing to become a footballer uh, i'm sure you come from a privileged background uh, your family is in the film industry it would be it would be so does you do your friends look at you differently now in fact uh, I used to be quite an extroverted guy before I went to China. I used to be like you know friends and football teammates and family and you know I used to be all like you know. I think after I moved to the temple, I became opposite. I became completely introverted, and that's when I really understood that how important it is to conserve your own energy, conserve your own you know just your energy in general. You know like not to share yourself with everyone. Be nice to everyone, but being open to everyone is something where i am like so conscious about or probably just came to me as becoming an introvert my friends do look at me differently definitely in fact i've lost out on really good friends as well because we were just not on the same mental wavelength you know oh. so which is fine i think you know bolte na ki aapki vibration waisi hoti hai ki log wohi vibration ke log aapse attract hote hain so jo hai attract hue wo hai jo nahi hai to nahi hue matlab this parted ways so yeah 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 Um uh, again I'm coming back to an academic question if somebody is going through something like this in life aur usko ja ke yahan healing karna hai paisa manage ho jata hai what is what is the amount that this person needs to invest to get healed because yeah. I can see it I mean uh, I can see the impact on you and um, but money can be a 
challenge na no? money is quite a challenge mm-hmm. because you have to pay in us dollars or like the chinese yuan um flight ka cost alag ho jata hai jo boarding living treatment training ka cost hota hai wo alag ho jata hai so i think people invest in going to do masters so i think i did my masters of 5 years in the temple so i think of it that as my investment in that yeah yeah but if you have to give some amount what is what is the charges they do and how, how if somebody wants to apply what is the procedure a lot of in fact i've helped a lot of indians to uh, go to the temple uh, with the visa with the um, connecting with the office there's a foreign affairs office in china in the temple and uh, they can just go on the shaolin website there is an email address they can reach out to them and there are some basic costs that you have to you have to tell them the time duration i don't think you can just visa for more than 6 months i was fortunate to get visa after my 6 months for one year i used to come to india after that just for one year otherwise i used to come in 6 months hmm. like the first time here tha uh, because i got the adoption of warrior monk so it was easy for me to apply my visa uh, for one year uh, there is a basic fee that you have to give like a deposit hmm. and it starts with about like 1200 dollars it depends on you know how many months you're taking it so every month it's like 1200 $1, $1 a month and uh, yeah which includes your rehna khana peena training wagera football khelna shuru kiya wapas yeah yeah i play every tuesday with my jamna bhai people my professional footballers we meet tuesday night 10 to 12 raat ko hum log every we we play or there is there is no problem you are completely oh, i am okay completely. with that i'm completely fine i'm happy i'm How good and um, yeah touch <laughs> you're a messi fan I uh, how do you know uh, and you also share your birthday with him yeah how do June. you know <laughs> i did my research <laughs> impressive <laughs> but uh, let's go back to your family background you said you have you come from a film family give me this background i mean tell me about your father what your grandfather what did they do yeah so um, my father um, my family they come from the lineage of uh, varma brothers as action directors that's how my grandfather started his journey in the films so um, he was very close friends and associated with s mukherjee Uh, from the Mukherjee family, and that's where his journey started. Uh, my parent, my father, and my uncle, Mr. My father's name is Mr. Mahendra Verma, and my uncle, Tinu Verma, Manohar Verma, Papu Verma, Biku Verma, Jitu Verma, and then we have a politician in our family, Mr. Narendra Verma. Yeah. So there are seven Verma brothers, and uh, films was always there because of grandfather and being on set with the horses. So horses was the main business. Like you know, we have a staple diet. So the staple business was horses being supplied for films, doing stunts with the horses, doing stunts for the camera. So that's how Dada Ji, Papa Ji, we call Papa Ji, ne vasi chalu kiya tha. And then uh, my father, my uncles, they all became stuntmen um, through starting from you know like as stunts as horse boys. then they paid their way up 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 and then became action directors one of my uh, my tauji papu verma he became a director and a producer yeah. he made couple of projects with sanju sir sanjay dutt sir and uh, anita raj ma'am um namo nishan janki bazi yeah. uh, with sudesh berry vansh and all those projects they've made that has done majority of uh, david dhawan sir's films hmm. uh, and uh, varun's films and salman sir's films govinda's films like majority of them oh uh, yeah, from the 90s from the 90s everything action directing everything whether it's tere naam whether it's dulhan hum nahi jayenge whether it's um, jai ho whether it's like whatever other movies which was there before wanted and you know that slowly slowly started going in the space of series because yeah. then series started becoming big right to dimag mein sawal ye aata hai ki footballer kyun bachpan se hi chaah hogi ki actor banna hai ya director banna hai maybe something in front of the camera or behind it i um, i have been on the set because of family always you know when dad has got his action project or tauji has got directing projects um I never proactively thought or consciously thought that मुझे भी इसमें काम करना है. I was just a very free spirited, free loving kid who was just like you know all over the place, running around, jumping around. I think I channeled most of my energy into sports and athletics because I really excelled in it. Mm-hmm. I think I had the scope, and Dad always pushed me um, to take athletics. You know, I think the whole idea of being very healthy, uh, being uh, so you know like health conscious uh, about eating right and you know having the right lifestyle. it comes from my dad because i think they've seen that struggle they've seen the journey my dad they used to live that time before marriage before when they were stuntmen they used to live in andheri they used to go to the andheri station they used to go all the way to mahim prabhadevi to do their martial arts gymnastic training and that time their role model was bruce lee uh, who is who is my 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 role model as well he's master bruce lee for me so i have uh, been on the set but i never really thought that i want to do this um, because i was always into athletics and football so but the the funny part is that um, in school in jamna bhai i used to always take part, part in dramatics i was always doing stage i was always doing dance and singing so 
I don't know probably bachpan se I was just getting you know groomed in for this yeah like made for this I guess and then why did it take so long for you to then jump into it uh I was pressured to finish my education. <laughs> I think we all are pressured to finish our education. I like get a degree, degree lao, degree lao, yar. Mm-hmm. मतलब you know. So I was just fulfilling my parents' wish, I guess. So mm-hmm. I got my degree, and like I said, you know, even if I got my degree, I did intern at Times of India for like for six months, one year, and yes. after, uh, just working in marketing and PR because I went to Canada to study to get my graduation degree, bachelor's degree. When I came back, so I was so confused what I want to do because I assisted. I did my education. I got my degree, and now what? You yeah. know, like football also banned हो गया. So I was just like, बोलते ना एक एक turmoil में था मैं कि अभी करना क्या life में? You know, I was just lost. So mm-hmm. that time I think I was just so disconnected from my what my actual goal was, mm-hmm. and uh, I feel like this five six years of my journey, five six and a half years of my journey had to go through it to find what my actual path would be. So I'm merging. Uh, my Shaolin warrior lifestyle with my film, both my favorite passions of my life, and that's where I'm at right now. So I'm glad, you know, like I said, that every thing is right time for it, right time for it. Every thing is right. So nothing can push. We just spoke about it. Yeah. Because nothing can be pushed. Nothing can be forced. So um, I feel like once you're aligned completely, then things start happening for you and to you. Yeah. Action is something you're more inclined to 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 showcase on screen, or you want to explore everything else. I definitely want to explore everything as I'm an actor first. So for me, catering to all the genres is something which I'm going to be. Uh, my that's my approach, mm-hmm. and uh, action is my USP. Of course, you know the action that I have studied in Shaolin Temple and the Jackie Chan stunt team. I've never like you know felt so amazing doing those stuff because we all have seen those movies. Come on, guys, let's be real. So when you're like able to do those things, it's even much more cooler. It's much, it feels so good because when you're seeing yourself do it, not while for films, just for practice. Like I don't talk about like you know film action. Film action is very. I think it's um, it's like basically you know having animals in the circus. You know, chabuk ke dar se like bolte na ki sheer bhi kuch ka table pe hoga bad jaega. It's very like that. It's so choreographed. It's just so like, which is great. It takes a lot of efforts. But I feel like till the time you're not honing a real craft in you. to be able to be molded by action directors or stunt directors stunt designers then there's no point of like you know making it look beautiful so for me action is my usp of course uh, but my style is very different which, which i am pretty confident that which is not there in india i guess so yeah. i'm excited to perform all those things there yeah. we can't wait to see it as as viewers also yeah. you were telling me about your meeting with suraj bajatia ji tell me that he can he give you three advices which which is still playing up on my mind it really makes sense tell me about it yeah so um, firstly like suraj sir like you know like seriously <laughs> literally he is like he told me that beta i'm going to pass on a message to you that my father passed it on to me um, just make sure that um, first thing he told me that whenever you go to work make sure you're sleeping 8 hours that's one second thing he told me that um, and whenever you're going to be uh, leaving your house whenever you're going to work for your shoot set pay as an actor or as whoever you're working as um, always say sorry to everybody at home aapke life mein jisse bhi aapki problems hai bhale hi wo aapke ghar ke helpers ho aapki family ho aapke relationship mein ho ya colleagues ho sabko sorry bolkar kaam pe jao This was the second advice. Yeah, you know. this is to clear your head so that when you are set, pe jao, oh. toh, empty mind. Ke empty mind, jao, honestly, because I think camera captures everything. So, you know, there's some, something playing in your head. So, and third was he said that uh, be a director and a producer's actor completely. Like just surrender to the art and the process. Yeah. And I think these three are the most uh, most impactful teachings I've like got till now. I mean, I have a very long journey ahead. I'm still very young. So these three things have been told to me by Suraj Sir, and I'm like grateful to him. Have you shot for anything? Has is anything in the pipeline? <laughs> yeah, um, I shot for my first Telugu film with Pawan Kalyan Sir. Uh, the title is Hari Hara Veera Malu. We still have one schedule left to shoot, hmm. uh, and then uh, there are certain projects in the Hindi film uh, which are in the pipeline, which I can't speak of <laughs> until they are like officially announced. But yeah. uh, I'm excited for it, and uh, it's pretty cool. See, yeah. you're already giving answers like a proper Bollywood actor now. I can't speak about this. <laughs> I mean, I've been I've been told not to speak about it. So yeah. But how was it with Pawan sir on set? Oh. And I think you were training him first. I was actually roped in on the pro- so when I moved to India, a lot of people thought that I'm going to be going down the family lineage, action director, action designer. But um, I never really like spoke about it. Um, I did it because uh, firstly I got this Telugu film. Thank you to Shyam Uncle, Shyam Kaushal sir. 
Sharma uncle's family, Vicky's family, Sunny's family, ma'am, uh, Sharma uncle's wife. When uh, Sharma uncle saw uh, my videos, he was very like you know ecstatic and very kicked about it, and he's like, "Arey, Mahendra ka puttar hai," you know all of that. So uh, he roped me in as an action designer. Wow. Uh, but uh, that's how I started bonding with Pawan sir, and Pawan sir was just like so blown away that Arey, Shaolin warrior, India's so first Shaolin warrior. So for me, it was like, "Arey, yar, ye aise mujhe kyu treat kar rahe hain? Main to yar bacha hoon ke samne." <laughs> So for me, it was a privilege and an honor, uh, but he was so smooth. Yeah, he is. I love the the mental balance of he carries within himself. He is just so level-headed. He is just so calm, and uh, he's just so clear. His vision is so straight. Yeah. He's he's not black or white. He's just straight. He doesn't want to go gray, black or white. He just goes like. Pan. Okay, this is let's do this. This is let's do this. If he has an input, if he has a change, he'll give it. But he was just so easy to work it. And I also Pawan sir, let me add, is a trained professional martial artist. Oh. Not many people know about it. Yeah. So he's known as the power star of Telugu yes, film, right? Correct. So because power star, because he's been into action since like his journey. Many many years. So it was easy to work with him. And then I found um, a space, you know, where I bonded with him, and I told him my desire to be an actor and not be a technician, and you know. Uh, not going in the space of what my family is uh, into action direction uh, or direction. I, I though I've studied all of this, but um, I always want to perform. I always want to express. So for me, it was more like um, I expressed to him honestly that so that I want to act. You know, this is not my uh, this is not my thing. Like you know, to be an action director. And he's like, why don't you tell me? You know, we'll 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 put something down for you. You know, we'll see if you fit in. You can test for it and everything. And it all worked out. Yeah. yeah. So when is that coming out? Oh, we still have to shoot uh, like a schedule. Like there's one major climax sequence that's left. Oh wow! So Pawan is busy with his political commitments. Yes. He's also a big uh, politician down south. He has his own uh, political party called Jan Sena Party. So uh, he's busy with that. So one thing, once it clears for him, then we'll do our shooting. Do you think you'll ever go back to that thing? Since you said the doors are open, don't put me there. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's taken me a lot to you know not look in that direction because. You know, you know there are times. Uh, you know th- there are times I really question myself. There are times I really, really wonder that uh, is it really worth coming out of the temple? I I have my days. You know I'm not the perfect person in this world. I think nobody's perfect. I, I think the whole concept of perfect doesn't exist. Yeah. It's just that we're striving to get better day by day. So for me, uh, uh, I do have my breakdowns. I miss the temple very immensely, and. Uh, Yeah, I I I also ask myself that uh, I have to bring myself back on the on the on the on the road by telling myself that no harsh you found your purpose stick to it don't get uh, diverted because I'm a very emotional person I'm Cancerian I'm water sign <laughs> so I do have um, you know tendencies of you know going on an emotional down when it comes to um, you know my temple because like I said my parents gave me birth and my temple gave yeah. me rebirth. So I really daily miss them because uh, whatever I am today, it's because of my family and the matured chunk of my life is because of the temple. Right? Yeah. When you say breakdown, what are these challenges? Like I said, I just keep on questioning myself about my purpose, about my journey, certain things about patience. Um, I do cry. There's no harm in accepting that you cry. I cry. Of course. I, everybody. I think it's a beautiful emotion. I think uh, being vulnerable is one of the most beautiful thing on this planet. That you know. uh the consciousness the supreme consciousness consciousness has given us so i feel like uh, yeah i i i i break down I and mean, i'm just feeling a little emo right now talking about it so yeah no can i tell you you're doing such a great job uh, you, like i told you when i saw this for the first time and i was also so inspired and i've never done martial arts or anything like that in my life mm-hmm. but when i see it i also feel it it, it really inspires so i think what you're doing is really helping a lot of people is changing mindsets And uh, I think you should continue doing it. You're doing a fab, fab job. Thank you so much. Yeah, I mean, I think um, that's the whole idea, right? I mean, yeah. Whether I'm like an actor now, uh, the whole idea is to um, just inspire people. Like you know, there are people who inspired me. So if I'm getting a place where I can do that, so why not it? Yeah. Uh, I mean, your Instagram account is stock here. और एक वर्ड बहुत मैंने frequently देखा वो है आमितोफ. Yeah. What does that mean? So Amitofu is a greeting. We monks say it. It's a Buddhist term. It's a Chinese term. Uh, Amitofu basically we bow down. Uh, it's very similar to what Namaste means. I don't know if many people know the literal meaning of Namaste. What is it? 
uh, when you say namaste you are saying that you accept you bow down to the person in front of you acknowledge their soul you acknowledge their presence and you thank them you thank the higher being and that's exactly what and you you um accept the bodhisattva in them the light in them the buddha in them so buddha means light inside of you so that's why we say om namo tof wow I think that's that's also the perfect way to end. Uh, I would also like to tell you Amit Ofo for yeah. opening up because um, um I don't know if, if it's easy or if it's hard to really open up about your life, your challenges, your struggles and reach where you have reached today. Thank you so much Ash. I had a great time. I had a great time myself. Thank you so much for uh, having me here with the wonderful team who's sitting here. And um, it was really interesting and it was uh, it was nice to share my journey and I I I I just love sharing and I hope I can inspire people. Yeah. We are taking so much from you. Thank you so much Ash. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> If you enjoyed today's episode, like, share, subscribe and don't forget to join us every Friday for the next episode of the Pink Villa podcast.